this is Artifacts of Mars, and here we have a bizarre story out of North Carolina University. You're going to love this one. You're wondering why uh, Michael Savage says liberalism is a mental disorder? Well, here we go. A white privilege survey as part of a cultural competency workshop. Students at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill are being assigned a score based on the amount of white privilege that they have. During this has nothing to do with education, this is indoctrination. Uh, during the workshop, students can participate in several activities and examine white privilege and how it is more powerful than other types of benefits afforded by society. One activity in particular, called the White Privilege Survey, requires students to quantify their privilege based on their responses to a series of statements. I can choose blemish cover or bandages in flesh color and have them more or less match the color of my skin, one statement reads, for which students then apply a number between 0 and 5 based on how true the statement bears in relation to their daily lives. Notice how the statement speculates on the student's race and pop culture with questions such as, I can turn on television or open the front page of the newspaper and see people of my race widely and positively represented. I can conveniently buy posters, postcards, picture books, green cards, and children's magazines featuring pe people of my race. One oddly phrased statement asserts that swearing, wearing hand-me-downs or not handling correspondence in a timely fashion without racist consequences is a privilege. I can swear, dress in second-hand clothes, or not answer letters without having people attribute these choices to the bad morals, poverty, or the illiteracy of my races, it states. Another cultural competency activity called Uncovering the Hidden Rules of Class groups students into their respected class based on whether or not they know how to complete certain tasks affiliated with that class. Students likely grew up in poverty, for example, if they knew how to find the best rummage sales, get around without a car, move in half a day, entertain friends with just personality and stories. The document then describes activities like setting a table, using credit card, knowing how to repair household items, being able to read from menu in multiple lang languages as exclusively middle class or upper traits, but leaves questions about the purpose of the exercise unanswered. And break this down, these people are clinically insane. The fact that they're looking at bandages, the color bandages, as something significant is proof of that. Now, I can't, really can't uh, diagnose mental illness, but I can say, in my opinion, these people are insane. How anybody would come up with a survey like this is beyond me. But, you know, you're going to wind up getting in trouble for wearing the wrong color bandage if these people get in their way. They're crazy. They're crazier than loons. That's the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. They're crazy. It's my personal opinion that they should be, you know, anybody who makes up a survey like this, they're a danger to themselves and to the public. They're crazy and probably uh, should be in the local loony bin. I'm sorry, I'm not taking it back. These people are nuts, 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 nuts. How you can say anything else, I don't know. Nuts, 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 nuts.
Investigative reporter Anthony Gakowski. So there you have it, another mental disorder of liberalism story. I'm Artifacts Mars, thanks for watching.